What's up guys, today I will be showing you guys exactly how to buy and stake ohm on olympus dow so that you guys can start making these insane returns but that's not all i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this for as cheap as possible one of the knocks against olympus dow has been its gas fees and how they eat up into the profits it probably cost me around three to four hundred dollars just in gas fees to get set up but ever since a few weeks ago i've found another way to do it where you don't have to pay those ridiculous ethereum gas fees if you guys are new to olympus don't forget to watch our video where we completely do a breakdown and a deep dive into exactly how Olympus Dow works, how they make money, and how they're able to sustain their high APY. Let's go ahead and dive right into today's video. So the first thing you want to do is not buy Ethereum. That's the first step. Step two, you want to buy AVAX, which is the native coin for the Avalanche network. Now, if you guys do a simple search on coin market cap and go to markets, you can see that it is available on a lot of different exchanges where I usually buy my AVAX is on Qcoin. But you can see here, you can even buy it on Coinbase and Binance as well. So now the next step is is you need to have a MetaMask wallet. So if you don't have a MetaMask wallet, all you have to do is go to your Chrome web store, regardless if you're on Chrome or the Brave browser, and simply search MetaMask. As you can see, it's right there. And you're just gonna add this extension. As you can see, I already have it added. So once you do that, you just have to set it up and then it's going to look something like this. So now that we're all caught up, what we have to do next is set up the Avalanche network on our metamask wallet because you will see that it says ethereum mainnet so here you can only have coins on the ethereum network but since we're avoiding the ethereum network due to its gas fees we need to add on avalanche you can see that i already have the avalanche network set up so all you're going to do guys is search on google avalanche on metamask click this link right here scroll down and then you're literally going to just follow the step-by-step -step guide so you open up your MetaMask, you go to add network. This is a page that will open here. So you're literally going to copy and paste this entire part right here. Once you've done that, you hit save and congrats, you're now on the Avalanche network. So now you need to send your AVAX to your MetaMask wallet. So all you're going to do here while you're on the Avalanche network, make sure you're on it, copy the address right here, and that's where you send it to. So once you send it, it should appear here just like this right here. And now you're ready to buy some Ohm. So to buy Ohm, you're going to go back to Google and search Trader Joe XYZ. So the website is TraderJoeXYZ.com. You're going to go to where it says trade and it should take you to this page. Make sure that you have your wallet connected. You have to connect your wallet here so that it can read your balance. Then what you're going to do here, you want to make sure you have AVAX here. Now on this one here, you're going to click it and you're going to type in G O H M. You can see it right here. You're going to click that and then you're going to add on whatever it is that you want to trade. Now, one tip is do not hit max because if you do hit max, you have to be aware that you have to pay a fee and you need to make sure that you have AVAX available for the gas fees. Now, the difference between AVAX and Ethereum is that the gas fees on AVAX are extremely, extremely cheap. You can see here how cheap this gas fee is. So usually I just keep it at a whole number and maybe I'll leave one or two points and I'll delete the rest kind of like that. And that ensures that I have enough to cover gas fees. So at this point, all you're going to do here is hit swap. I'm actually do a smaller amount just in case. So what you're going to do here is hit swap. Once you hit swap, you just have to confirm it. Once you confirm, it's going to pop up your MetaMask again here, and you're just going to scroll down and confirm it again. It might ask you to confirm it a few times, so just continue to confirm it. Then uh, you can see here, transaction submitted. You can close it out and you can see that it was already done. So hold on, don't leave this page yet. So the next step you're going to do is click right here where it says add GOM to wallet. Because if you don't do that, 
and you're gonna scroll down and you're not going to see your G ohm. So you wanna make sure that it's here. The way to add it onto your wallet is by clicking down here and it's going to ask you if you wanna add token and you just hit add token. I already have it, so I'm not adding it again. Once you do that, you're gonna see that you'll be able to see your G ohm there. Now we're ready to go to Olympus DAO. So the website is olympusdao.finance. You're gonna hit enter app and you're gonna go straight to where it says bridge. This is going to open up this protocol right here. This is simply a bridge where you can bridge your tokens from the Avalanche network over to the Ethereum network. So here you're just going to hit max and uh, I can't do it because I don't have enough. Uh, my amount is too small and it can't cover the fees. But after you hit max, then you're going to hit whatever it is here to bridge. So again, you're gonna have some avalanche fees that you have to accept and confirm on the side here. And once that is done, then you can close out this page. Now go back to your MetaMask and you're gonna switch over from avalanche network to the Ethereum mainnet. Now once back on the Ethereum mainnet, you're going to see a lot more options here on the side. You're gonna go to where it says stake. If it's your first time uh, staking, you have to hit approve here. When you hit approve, you're going to have to pay some transaction fees here as you can see here um, in order to be able to stake so once that's approved then you, you should see the option to stake there you just hit max at that point then you hit stake once you hit stake it should ask you for gas fees again you do you will have to pay gas fees again and uh, once you confirm it then after that you should it should pop up here under staked balance so what you're gonna do is uh, refresh until you see it pop up here. And it might either pop up here or it might pop up down here. Either way, you're set. And what you're going to do here as well is click here where it says wallet. Then you're gonna click on G ohm, which is the coins that you have because you have the wrapped ohm. And you're gonna add it to your wallet because you added it to your Avalanche wallet, but you did not add it to your Ethereum wallet. So this is where you add it to your wallet and it should pop up on your wallet from now on. And that's it guys. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications. I will be making more videos like this and I will be updating you guys on my results as I continue to experiment on these different DeFi projects and passive income projects. Try to figure out the best ways to make passive income so that you guys can also do it. I will be your guinea pig, don't worry. Don't forget to smash the like button on this video, guys. Let's try to get over 100 likes on this video. And of course, if you guys have any questions about anything that we covered here, just drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to help and answer the questions for you guys. If you guys are new to Olympus, don't forget to watch our video where we completely do a breakdown and a deep dive into exactly how Olympus DAO works, how they make money, and how they're able to sustain their high APY. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you on the next video. As always, peace and love.